So this is Rob bringing you a new knife sheath. The uh, what I coin is the ultimate survivor sheath. Um, this sheath was made for the Falcon Even Iden. <clears throat> now the sheath is um, a knockoff of my other sheath with a few improvements. Um, instead of terminating the straps on either side, I wrap them around. What this allows you to do is run paracord through here. So you can use it uh, for a sling if you want to carry it over your shoulder. The survival pack <clears throat> is now uh, longer. It sits a little bit better on top of the straps. Um, the prior one would tend to move a little bit and interfered with the fire steel, moving your fire steel in and out, which is here. Tight fit. <clears throat> so there's your fire steel holder. There's the dimension of the pack. It's probably about three quarter of an inch tall by about an inch in a maybe an inch and a quarter wide by four inches deep. <clears throat> right now, what I have is a sharpening stone, um, some fly fishing rods, some hooks, some sinkers, and there's still plenty of room. I've got it actually up toward the front of the pack, so there you could get some uh, uh, snare wire in there if you wanted you can probably get it, fit a small big lighter uh, in there if you wanted and it just clips over like that and keeps everything in place um, the sheath the survival pack is on here with snap in the back so you simply just reach back there and unsnap it, you open that up, remove the snap, and you just use your thumbs, probably a little bit easier with the knife out of there now. Sorry about that. Well, probably a little bit easier with the knife out of there now. And you Push the strap through, just grab onto that a little bit, and it comes off. <clears throat> um, the, the survival pack can be mounted on either side of the sheath. So if you had it in the front, this would be a right hand carry, and it would be you'd wear it on the front of your waist like so. If you put the survival pack on the opposite side, your right hand, um, right hand draw, you got it on this side, right hand draw, and it fits on your belt like this, you can wear it uh, scout style. So that's the sheath. Ram logo on the back. And now the survival pack can be carried uh, separately if you wanted to. You can just wear it on your front of your pack strap or mount it to your belt this way. And you see it wouldn't come off. You can access it. <clears throat> so to put it back on, I'm going to put it in the front again. You just guide the strap through with your thumb <clears throat> pull it around sorry for the camera work here of trying to do this by myself <clears throat> line up your strap your uh, snap in the back kind of just will fall into place <clears throat> then what I like to do is just put the knife back in there. It gives me something to squeeze against. And you just reach your thumbs back there. Like one on either side. And snap the snap back into place. 
you're good to go. Close it up. Fire steel back in place. And away you go. And that's it. <clears throat> what I also did was uh, change the shape of the front of this. It used to be a little blunter. Um, it was a waste of leather and it removes a couple grams from the weight of the sheets as well. Um, I don't have a weight on this, but it's not terribly, awfully heavy with, uh, in this, uh, small size with this, um, small knife. Anyway, <clears throat> if you're interested, I can be contacted at the email address that I have, uh, up on the screen. You'll, um, You'll have to send me a knife if I don't own the knife that you want me to make the sheets for. Um, I'll also list some of the knives that I have on my website. Um, thanks for looking.